Boom Pal Zap. And this is our makeshift nesting box for our squirrel. We don't know how old he is, but based on how he's moving around in the box or in his cage, he's I think he's almost time to be released. So we made this uh, makeshift out of a bucket and we're gonna nail it or screw it into a tree. Mm -hmm. One that has a lot of acorns and stuff on it. Towels with super glue. Or, uh, yeah, this is hot, hot glued, glued so he can climb the side of the of the bucket and go in and out of the, and then he has two holes in case maybe a snake comes in and one he can escape to the other. I don't know, I mean, this is probably his most I mean, this this may be the most uh, the the time whenever he can he's vulnerable to like hawks and snakes and other things like that. What did you put down in there? I put the uh, bedding for like hamster and bedding. And a little basket. And a little basket you yeah. got from Goodwill, so he can gnaw on it. And we'll put some food in there, and his towel has a smell on it. But he is getting big enough to where he's just all over that cage. He's throwing stuff out, and we try not to handle him now. too much because we don't want him used to people. But I mean, it's kind of hard to do when he's sitting in the living room. All right, Keep he's still pretty on. friendly right now, but boy, he just wants to go. How am I gonna get him? We're gonna have a squirrel loose in the house. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's okay. It's okay. Try them in the it's box. It's okay. First. Yeah. Here. So I don't want to go down there. What are you crazy? <laughs> He's like, what is this? Look at how big his tail is. Oh, He's poofed out. <laughs> you put oh, some nut here. I got some. Here, here you go. There you go. Aww. Take the almond. He's so cute when he's eating. He's like, what are you peeking at? <laughs> oh, it's coming out. Get back in there. Get back in. Get back in. This is your house. Move that thing. It's coming out over here now. Keep an eye on that cat. Oh, he's coming over here now. Do you want out of there or what? You don't want to be snuggly in there? Or put your blanket in there? You're fine in those little holes, aren't you? Here he comes. <laughs> well, he's making use of both of them. It's okay, baby. Oh, I got the lid up. You getting used to that? Huh? Yeah, he just got another one. He likes his almonds, Tony. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Is that your favorite food, Joey? Oh, I can see BB through the other little hole. I can. Yeah. Oh. Licking her lips. I hope he likes acorns as much as he likes those. We might need to go out there and put some seeds and acorns in there for um, a couple of weeks. That's all I was planning on, leaving him a little food every day. Mm -hmm. And then put a bowl up on top of it, as long as our cats don't climb <laughs> Is he done with it all? I don't know. I can't see him. He shone a light down in there again. Still eating.
Oh, he's chewing on the bucket. Reminds me of that cat toy they have on TV that has a little <laughs> mouse coming out of the holes. There you go. Where's more food? <laughs> Your dog. Stick his head out looking around. And he's gnawing on the hole. Can come out? Bird over there throwing a fit. We've put the box up in the tree, put the lid on, there's some corn sticking out there and we're yeah. going to let them loose now. Look at him, he's going crazy, all the dogs. He's, a, he's way too active for that little tiny cage, so we need to get him out. He's fat too. Yeah, he's, he's fat, he eats a lot. Get back, here, come here. Phoebe, get back. Chick, stop. Oh, goodness. We don't want ah! Oh my goodness. Yeah, you yeah, your little dog oh. wants to love on him, I bet. Are you gonna put him in the hole? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Great. It's on my shoulder. Why is he so calm on humans? He's like so Cause dogs are pain in the butt. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I got you. Oh! He's in the come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Well, I can't reach him now. Right, yeah. He's on the other side of the tree. Right, it's kind of like they do in the wild, too. Best to if he goes in there. What if he eats those oh, he's shaking. Come here. Uh oh. Can get him? I, think I can't get him. He's way oh, he's too high. Way yeah. No, I think that's his new home now. Well, we'll just put some seed on top of the bucket. And yeah. Maybe he'll figure it out. He'll smell his stuff in the bucket. Yeah, where is his. Get his little uh, thing, yeah. But he's he's got his house right here. Hopefully he'll go in it. Oh, what you doing out? Here you go. Mom, it's your new home now. Not, not this. Not that. Chew it up, though. His towel. Oh, the towel. I don't even see him anymore, so I'm gonna leave him. There's plenty of acorns in this tree. We've got food in here for him. So if he decides to come back down here. Yeah, he's around this, tall, this more, uh, moss grass up here. Okay. I think I can see him there. He, yeah, he's wiggling around. He's somewhere in this clump right here. The little boxes down here. The boxes right there. So hopefully he'll come down and smell his house and go back inside. But if not, there's, there he is. There's plenty of acorns up there. You can get used to playing. Hopefully no birds come and kill him. We'll check on Snakes. him. Snakes. We'll check him we'll the Put food out in his up. bucket every day. I saw him here. Oh, he's staying close to the tree, the main part of the tree. And he's hiding pretty well. There's a lot of Spanish moss. A lot of limbs and his little bucket house is just right down here. Yeah, his bucket house is right down here. So 
Little squirrel places. has survived the night. He's been very careful. He's in survival mode. But he's way up in the tree. He came up down earlier and he took a almond out of my hand. But so far I haven't seen him near the bucket, which has all his food in it. So hopefully I can get a look at him in a minute. Um, the cat was stalking him earlier. We'll put the cat inside. But he's in, uh, he's in a survivor mode or a very cautious mode right now. He's been staying in this one tree. And hopefully I can get him to come down. <laughs> How beautiful he is. Look at him. He's so cute. Come here. You like your new habitat? Come here. I got an almond for you. Come on. Come here. Oh, he's heading back up. Come here. I see him. Wait. Oh, he went back up again. Yeah, he went up again. All right, well, see ya. Uh, come here. Come here. I got a nut for you. Come here. What you eating? Dropped it. There it was. Come here. What I got for you? Come here. Come here. Okay. Come here. Come get it. Come on. Come get it. All right, be on the lookout for any predators. See you tomorrow, hopefully. To sum everything up, he stayed around for three days and he lived inside his, he went inside the nesting box. I tried to get him one time and he ran out the other side. So I know that the little second hole worked. Uh, I found out that the box is getting raided by raccoons, which is that little clip that I should put in there. I put a little security camera up and it caught the raccoon reaching in, digging out the food. And I think that scared him off. After three days, disappeared. I haven't seen any squirrels that are overly friendly in the yard. I'm hoping that he's just moved on to another tree because of the raccoons. And I'm hoping he's okay, but I haven't seen him again. So he's back in the wild. Hopefully he's doing well. Boom Pals out, like, subscribe, comment, and share.